Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2, the vlog. John, how are you doing? Are you feeling very vloggy today? I am so vloggy, it's disgusting. <laughs> wow. You know, you know, John, we normally, at least we have some kind of a conversation about what should we talk about today? And for the last five hours, we've been chatting and we're having a little trouble, trouble here. Uh, we don't talk about politics generally. We don't talk about uh, foreign affairs. And certainly there's plenty going on there. So why don't we talk about March? You know, I would talk about March, but my knees are killing me and I just can't lift my legs that high anymore. Oh, you can't march anymore? Oh, oh you... You mean the month <laughs> of March. Right. Oh, and by the oh, way, yeah. that was very that was very uh, complimentary laughter. It sounded real. I was probably <laughs> laughing at you, not with you. <laughs> oh, wait. So I, I, I know we both have a special day in March that we could at least start off with. My parents oh. got married on the Ides of March. The Ides of March, yes. that would be, ordinarily would be the 15th. But It, it would don't... ordinarily oh. be on whatever day it shows up on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On the Ides. Is that on what... the Ides. On the, Ides. the anyway, Ides. they got married then. And I yeah, thank them for that. Uh, my sister thanks them for that. And yes. uh, I'm sure that you thank them for that, for having um, conceived me in wedlock um, yeah. through marriage. Well, so thank you, Ides. Yeah. I think that makes March a very important month, right? Right, That alone. No, but if that didn't exist, you would yes. have an amazing reason oh. for, to, to want March to be here. And I thought it was last month. So what, tell us about that. Well, the important, most important month of the calendar is March because it's got within it the holiest day of the year, St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. And Saint Faith and be jabbers, we all know that St. Patrick's Day is the most important day you can ever have throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. Well, certainly Chicago, Chicago thinks it's important because don't they turn their rivers green? <laughs> and, and, and by the way, I saw, uh, I guess I knew that uh, St. Patrick's Day was coming up uh, because there was a commercial for Lucky Charms. I think they had all a box of all green marshmallows in Lucky Charms, which I'm sure is an know. important staple in your home. Well, I'm I'm sure St. Patrick uh, is lauded within the advertising industry because it's one of the most commercialized days of the year. Hmm. Maybe maybe second only to St. Valentine's Day. And it must be a difficult day for Kermit the Frog because didn't he say that it wasn't easy being green? Yeah. So well, once a year it is on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, it's yeah. easy to be green. Yeah, mm. my favorite was uh, living in Chicago, where they dye the river mm. green. Literally dye the. I think there's a couple of places that do that, but uh, Chicago is well. well I remember when we were both of us were growing up in New York, the St. St. Patrick's Day parade. They painted the yellow line down Fifth Avenue green. That was like kind of cool. And, and as a Boy Scout, I got to march in the St. Patrick's oh, Day oh. parade. Um, Probably more than once. Who would have thought that John young... Coleman was a Boy Scout? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, wait, you got it right. You, yeah. I was a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout and an Eagle Scout. So you, not, an Eagle, Scout not an Eagle, not an Eagle, an Explorer. That's five finger salute. I had, I had uh, like 25 merit badges, but I was missing one and we moved to another place and so, yeah. but my grandson made up for it by by making it uh, later on. But no, uh, two fingers is Cub Scout, right? Right. We come Boy Scouts. Yep. And you were a Boy Scout, eh? Hey, I was, eh? Mm. Not a Canadian Not Boy a Scout, Canadian. eh? Yeah, I also I also had the privilege of directing the television coverage of the St. Patrick's Day Parade on numerous occasions. Oh, really? For Channel Eleven in New York. Yeah. Well, Loved that it. was what WPIX. WPIX, if you are a New Yorker, you will know the name Jack McCarthy. Ah, yeah, absolutely. Captain Jack McCarthy. I, also, who, was, was uh, Mr. Weatherby on uh, Channel 11 or was he at Channel 5? No, he was He was on Channel... Uh, 5 or 9. You know, he 
Yeah, he wasn't on 11. He was on 5 or 9 hmm. and then moved to Channel 7. Right. Oh, uh, WR was that, 9. He was an interesting guy. Yeah, I forgot what, what Channel 5 was. But I talk, so uh, what, how did you how did that work out for you that you got to uh, uh, produce or direct that? Because I know you, were, you were with them for That's a while. Right. Yeah. Um, Jack McCarthy was a professional Irishman. He would every year. He well, the St. Patrick's Day parade was his tour de force every year, mm. and uh, he made the most out of being Irish. He had a, but he was great. He was a great host, and everybody loved him. Mm. So, including the cops, <laughs> filled out most of the parade. Oh, okay. Unions and cops. I think. Oh, absolutely. Is that anyway, time? March is a great month. Yep. It's a great month. It's uh, isn't it March that they say, um, "In like a lamb, out like a lion." Well, the other or way around. Christmas. Something to do with wind and and things like that, or weather. Yeah. I think it's just about. Well, it's, it's, it's on the cusp of turning into spring, uh, with April. Right. Now you around also March, is that an important March month for you? Because I know that you 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 plant gardens and things like that. Is March like a dormant month, or is that uh, an active month for you in your in your garden? Well, in Southern California, most places, March is, is uh, well, spring begins in March, March 21st. Mm. And depending on where you are in the country, you will either start tearing up the ground and preparing for planting in spring, or if you're in Southern California like we are, you can actually plant in March. Mm. Uh, I'm still getting uh, crops, cool weather crops. I've got Brussels sprouts that are... Mm. Not quite ripe yet. Um, we're still getting some broccoli. Um, and uh, what else have we got? I've got tomatoes left over from tomatoes the fall. in March. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And not, weathered... those are in a hot house. Those are in a greenhouse. Those are on the ground outside. Oh, yeah. They're in the ground. Yeah. Um, what else? I've got spinach growing. Now, this is all through the winter, mind you. Mm. So it's Southern California. Obviously, we can plant stuff and Southern California, Florida, places like that can, and and parts of Texas can grow stuff that you can't grow in Minnesota. Yeah, my my son uh, my son too has uh, blood oranges coming out on his tree, and they're really big oh, and they're wonderful now. Yeah. Oh, this is the perfect time for them. Yeah. yeah. In fact, we're just the uh, peach tree here in the backyard is is already past its blossoming. Um, we've got our mandarin oranges are almost gone. Hmm. You know, they've already. Uh, they're starting to drop from the tree. We've got the last of them. So it's it March can be springtime here, and it's still winter elsewhere. It's a wonderful month. You know what? Good transition month. You know, you know what? We, we really had a, a really good kind of cool thing to talk about, March. Okay, we were worried that... I guess you know what happens when we say action, which people don't hear <laughs> off screen, and we start? We can talk about anything. <laughs> Well, it's very mean. We, the important thing is a meaningful conversation, right? And we always have meaning, right? And, and we have. Meaning by the is, way, we're not going to tell anybody who they are, but we've got uh, about another half a dozen uh, uh, interviews uh, this month. Uh, some with uh, our regular contributors, some with some really, really interesting uh, new people. A few that we've done already, and a few that we're about to do. So. Yep, um, we're we're busy. Yeah, in fact, I, I, you know that this week I'm heading off to uh, North Carolina. Ah, right. And uh, so you're South, North and South Carolina, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. Then I'll be back next week, and we'll blog about that. Right. So, wait, you, wait, so this is actually your second cross country trip by plane. Yeah. Uh, we know that we have some friends who've gone across country by automobile. Uh, uh, which we won't talk about right now. Maybe we'll get uh, Tom on sometime. But uh, you've actually been uh, heavily masked and uh, controlled on the first flight. Yeah. On the first flight. Yeah. Okay. And I expect it'll be the same on oh. this flight. But it'll be interesting to do. And you're going out to see your granddaughter in college, right? She's doing right. something special. Yeah, uh, she's an equestrian, so there's having they're having a competition, and. Um, at competitions in Charleston, so we can I can visit all relatives down within that area. Oh, uh, be fun. will you be there? Well, you won't be there for St. Patrick's Day. You'll be back. Oh, I'll be back for. Although, as I understand, Charleston is 
really big on St. Patrick's Day. Well, maybe in honor you heard of that. Maybe in honor of John Coleman, they'll they'll have like no, a they'll, they'll have a warm up day first. Yeah, they, apparently, long long ago, a lot of Irish went to went down south. Really, and uh, before the Civil War, a lot of Irish moved down south. So there's a huge uh, Irish American population. I don't know what you call it. Have you heard of the Hibernian Society? Yeah, I have. Okay. But I thought they they're, were in New York. Big. Oh, well, the Hibernians are in Charleston, too. Really? And uh, all my cousins are members of the Hibernian Society. But who do you think and I want to tell you, I want to tell you that they're fine, fine people. Of course, they don't. Y'all, y'all fine people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. When you come back and report on your trip, uh, you can report in, in a, perhaps you can do it all in a southern uh, uh, Irish uh, dialect. So work on that. If there is, yeah, if there is one, I'll I'll perfect it for you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, well, have a safe trip, and to everybody Thank out you. there, have a wonderful march. Uh, it's got far more in it than we even thought when we started talking to you a little while ago. So enjoy the march. Enjoy the Ides if you're an Ides person. Enjoy St. Patrick's Day whether you're Irish or not. And uh, oh, absolutely, that's the whole point. Right. And I, I had, a, by the way, speaking of St. Yeah. Patrick's Day, I had a friend and part-time employer who owned a bar in, in New York City for mm. a number of years, and he hated St. Patrick's Day. He said, all the amateurs come out. <laughs> <laughs> the amateur drinkers, right. in other words. So he had to deal with uh, it. What can I tell you? That's St. Patrick's Day. We'll make the best of it anyway. Okay, so why don't you talk us out, John? Um, well, then I think it's time to say happy March. Look forward to, by the way, the change, the, uh, was it the, it's oh, not the. Uh, the clock. It's springtime is not the. Spring forward, fall back. So it's, we lose an thank hour. Thank you. I th it's, it does happen in March, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I think uh, yeah. maybe, and, and maybe on your trip, be careful. Maybe on your trip, don't miss your flight home. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks, everybody, for watching. If you've lasted this long through this inane conversation, then you want to see a doctor. Then you must be, you must be <laughs> true fans of Celebrating Act Two. But we thank you anyway, even if you didn't make it this far. And uh, enjoy the month of March. Celebrate your second act, and uh, we'll see you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.